And here we are. It is the final Tribal Council of Tumblr Survivor 91, Nightingale Islands. We are here with the final two, Sarah and Anne-Marie. First things first, I would like to say congratulations to both of you. Um, right before I started recording, Sarah and Anne-Marie decided that Sarah would give her opening speech first and Anne-Marie will go second. So we will go in the reverse order when it comes to closing speeches. So with that being said, no time to waste. Sarah, you may begin. All right, hello, jury. Before I um, start with my game, I just wanna say that it was amazing getting to play with all of you guys. There was um, many times when I just got into conversations with you guys and I literally forgot that we were even in a game and those were some of my absolute favorite moments. Um, coming into the game, my goal was just to build plenty of connections and maybe get in some alliance chats, and I did that very well. I ended up in many alliance chats, most with Gwen, Chris, and Rizzo. Um, by the time that we made it to our first tribal, I was left out of a plan that they knew of, and so I knew that I had to split them up. Um, and then we got to um, the fir the last immunity before merge, and it was the comp where we had to send um, like all but two of our players to the other tribe and then vote someone out. And so I made an alliance chat called the Renegades and added myself, Anne-Marie, Liam, and Austin who had mutinied over to our tribe. Um, and the sole purpose for that was to take out Gwen because she seemed like the biggest threat out of those three. And we strategically played the comp, got her over to the other tribe, and voted her out. Um, and then came Merge. And the first immunity I received thanks to Noah. Um, but then it come time for votes, people wanted to target Noah. And I was like, no, nah, this can't happen. He literally just saved me. And I also knew that Rizzo was a huge social threat, so I didn't want him to get deep into merge because he could have done some serious damage. So I literally just went around to people telling them um, that I thought he was like a really big threat. I used anything I could. I literally had like a video of him applying for in real life survivor. Um, and I started spreading that around to people. And ultimately he is the one that got the boot. Um, and after that, I figured I just need to just sit down and shut up because if I kept pushing my agenda on people, I knew eventually they're going to be like, oh, she's the threat. We need to vote her out now. Um, and then there was a few immunities um, where I actually threw one to Austin and I tried helping some other people like uh, Cheatham, Liam, and marie uh, the reason that I did that is because I figured if I was going to help them get immunities, which are like huge in this game, I figured that that would build trust and they would maybe have my back. With some people, maybe that worked. With some, maybe it didn't. Um, and then my next big thing was at Final Five. The um, vote was originally Cheatham, but I was not okay with that. I really wanted to take out Chris because I felt like and Marie and Chris were close, and at Final Four, there was a good chance that they could have pushed fire on me if I hadn't been immune. Um, so I really pushed for Chris that round, and I got people to agree to it. But apparently Austin, unfortunately, did not want to do that, and so he went and told Anne Marie the plan, and Anne Marie ultimately came back to Cheatham and I and said that she wanted to vote Austin instead. And uh, I knew Austin had to go, unfortunately, which sucks because he was like my main ally in the game. But I didn't think it was the right time because of the final four fire issue. So I kept kind of trying to push Chris's name. And, and when Tribal came that night, we weren't we didn't really have like a plan. And literally, I think it was, I don't know, a few minutes before the votes were being read, Cheatham came to me and said, Okay, if we vote Chris, you promise to have my back at Final Four? I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I definitely meant it. And so Chris went out that round of three to two. And then at Final Four, I unfortunately knew that Austin had to go. And so I literally fought my ass off to make sure that I won that immunity. And I did. 
there was like literally a few seconds where I thought about letting um, Austin go to fire, but ultimately I didn't want to piss off who was ever going to be in final three with me. And so I voted out Austin unanimously. And then at final three, again, I did not really want immunity because I did not want to have to pick between Cheatham and Anne Marie because I literally love both of them. But at the same time, I wanted to make absolute sure that I found my spot in final two. And so I played that comp that was a somewhat strategy based one. And I won that one as well. And then ultimately, the reason that I picked Anne Marie over Cheatham was mainly because I started this game with her and I felt like I also wanted to finish the game with her. I also had kind of a final two with her after Austin left. I don't know that either of us really took it seriously, but it was there. And so that is how the two of us ended up here. And I also got to point out that I voted in majority every single round in this game. And I also went away with four individual immunities which I think is insane. Um, the comps in this game were not exactly easy, so I was really surprised to be able to do that. And yeah, that's my game. Feel free to ask any questions that you want, and best of luck, Anne-Marie. Uh, Sarah, if you would move yourself, now it's Anne-Marie's turn. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sarah, and hello, Jury. Um, it's me, Anne-Marie. So... I would just like to say as well, thank you so much for everything that you guys have done and everything, all the, I can't really talk very well, but thank you for all the conversations that we had with each other and for the people that I didn't really get a chance to know very well, I apologize and I hope that in the future we get to talk a little bit more in depth, but for now I'm going to try talking and speaking concisely about my game. So in the beginning, because of thrush always going to tribals um i managed to stay pretty close to most of the people in petrel and when we first got to our first tribal which was the tim tribal that's when stuff started to go down and that's when really the divides between petrel were really shown and that's when i really found the people that i could trust in petrel which was sarah a couple of the people um going forward was when austin came into our and tour patrol and then that's when I found another ally and there I felt really comfortable with Liam, Sarah and Austin. That's how we moved forward as, as well as the Renegade tribe. There came the merge. <laughs> that's when I met Cheatham and everyone else and it was just lovely. But before the merge, let me talk about uh Gwen. Gwen Gwen's vote really shook me up because at first for the Tim vote, she kept saying that she wanted to work with me and that we were going to do Tim together, and then something happened that I really did not understand, and I was left out of the conversation with my name being thrown out and me almost being voted out instead of Tim, which really messed me up a little bit and got me very confused, but it really pushed me forward to make sure that I was playing a game where I knew what was going on, or I tried at least to know what was going on and find different people to talk to. Um, so, yeah came the merge. I am going to be honest, I did not win a single immunity, but I managed to get an immunity idol that I played for myself to make sure that I got to final four and final three. But the fact that I managed to get so far without winning an immunity, I think says a lot about my social game and my ability to talk to people and to make sure that I'm in the know. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say just for the fact that I managed to get the information that I needed to make sure that I stayed in the game and that I was in the majority. Um, yeah, same as Sarah said, uh, make sure to please ask any questions about my game and whatever you guys need. Okay, if you would both mute yourselves, the first person that's going to come in is Austin. I'm going to add him to the tribe chat, so when he joins uh, the call, he will start his speech slash uh, questioning.
Okay, so Austin is on his way. Hey guys. I'm going to keep this really short and stuff. I'm very happy that you both made it. I love you both so much. You're wonderful people. Um, I'm just going to do like a basic question. Just if there's one thing in the game one of y'all could have changed, what would it be? For me, it probably would have been um, the people that I was voting out for a few rounds. I would have told them instead of just keeping it secret. Uh, I know I couldn't do that with like Kyle, but I would have told Noah and who else? That's probably about it. That's what I would have done different. For me, as bad as it sounds, I wish I would have won at least one immunity. I wish I would have been in a place where I could prove that I was a strong player, not just socially, but also as winning immunities, especially back when we were in the trial. Because when we did win, when we did lose in a reward, it was me. So I really wish I would have gotten that reward and gotten something for our tribe. All right, guys, that's about all for me. I, I wish you both the best of luck, and I can't wait to see which one of y'all win this. So good mm -hmm. luck, and have fun with it, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank, thank you, Austin. Um, the next person to join is Noah. So I'm going to quickly add him and ping him. Hopefully he is still around. Bye guys. Hello. Hi. All right. Um, congrats to both of you. I'm so excited to see you both get there. I think it's super cool that to the two only two girls from the merge have made it all the time too. I think it's amazing. I have one question I think for both of you. I would like to know what was the lowest point in the game and how did you rise from it? Ooh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, oh. you can go first. All right. Um, my lowest point was when I found out that Cheatham was trying to idle me out of the game because I trusted him and I wanted to work with him. And I was really down. I literally thought for a while, like after, because once you're targeted once, it's like it's so easy to keep, for people to keep targeting you. And I literally like gave up hope pretty much for a while. But, um, I also had Austin and I knew that he had my back and I had his. And so I just kept working towards, you know, what I, I just kept working with him and things eventually got better. And yeah, I regained hope, I guess. Thank you. I am. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Um, my lowest point in the game, I can think. I think my very, very, very lowest point of the game was when we did the Gwen vote. Um, because it it was such it was so confusing and so painful to see someone that you really wanted to work with in the game just trying very hard to remain in it and breaking the trust that you had with each other. So I think that was my lowest point in the game. Breaking the trust with someone I really wanted to work with and yeah, I can't really put it into words very well. I'm, I'm, and I'm then how did you rise from that? How did you improve your game or get past that situation? Moving forward from that, I made sure that people had their trust in me and that I had mutual trust with each other. We had mutual trust with each other. Yeah. Like, you have any specifics, though? Mm -hmm. Like, which specific people did you go to for that? I went specifically to Sarah, Cheatham, and Austin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you guys congratulations um, keep my heart mind open I'm going to watch the whole thing um, love, love you guys good luck thank you thank you Noah okay I believe the next person to come is the incredible Chris so I'm going to add him and ping him and
<clears throat> All right. How are you, ladies? Um, first of all, congrats to both of you. I'm proud uh, that you both were able to make it this far. Um, I actually had a couple of questions for both of you, um, for each of you to answer. Um, the first one, I want you to identify what you feel was your greatest strength and your biggest weakness and how you worked your way around that weakness um, in the game. So, okay. My biggest strength, I think, was my ability to talk to people. I think being able to have a solid immunity, not, not solid immunity, the ability to have a solid alliance and have stable communication between it. But I think my biggest weakness was my indecisiveness. I had the information, but I didn't know what to do with it. And I was afraid of making the wrong move. So I self-doubted myself a lot in the game. But I think my biggest strength was my communication and my ability to know what was going on. Um, I would say that my biggest strength was, um, I don't know, maybe like a building trust with people because there was like a couple people in this game where like I felt extremely comfortable telling them everything and I felt like that they were telling me everything too and that's a great thing to have in this game because knowledge is power um and i think i don't know my biggest weakness was i'd like to say like playing with my heart because i feel like there was some rounds when i should have eliminated people but i didn't just because i felt like so connected with them but ultimately it worked in my favor because i'm here so, yeah, that's my answer. Okay, so uh, next question for you both. What do you feel that you excelled in that your opponent was not as good in? Or let me rephrase that, sorry. What do you feel you did a better job at than your opponent? Um, for me, it was definitely winning immunities a lot of the, a lot of times it wasn't even that i necessarily wanted to win the immunity but it was more that i wanted to have the immunity so that i knew that i could um go after my target that round i think it was my trust building um i think i managed to have mutual trust between sarah but not not only Sarah, but Cheatham and Austin when we really did get into Final Four. So I think it was my ability to have strong trust. Okay. Uh, the last question. Um, in a single sentence, I want you both to convince me why I should vote for your opponent. Boom. Easy. Because Sarah is a strong player, really good at immunities, and played a really honest game. Um, mine is that Anne-Marie obviously had a really good social game, and she got all the way to Final Tribal without really having to get any blood on her hands, and she's just awesome, and everyone loves her. Not liking Anne-Marie is like not liking puppies. All right, well, thank you uh, for your insight. Kudos to both of you, and good luck no matter what happens. I hope both of you are proud of being here and yourselves in this game. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Peace. Peace in the Middle East. Truly, truly peace in the Middle East. Okay. Um, yeah, next in... Uh, next in line is Vincent. Yes, okay, Vincent. <clears throat> I will ping him. <clears throat> this is going very quickly for final tribal council, being honest. But am I complaining? No. Maybe we'll spend 20 minutes waiting for Vincent. Who knows?
Okay, he said it's lagging for him a bit, so let's just give him a couple more moments before we uh, move on. Okay. Uh, hello. I am not good at thinking of questions to ask you. So I'm going to be basing my vote on the answers you're, you will be give, you've given to everyone else so far. So the questions I um, would be asking will instead uh, have a sort of a different purpose. Like they won't heavily influence who I vote for, but this things I'm kind of curious about. And so first I need to say that my laptop kind of glitched out during your speeches, so I didn't hear all of them perfectly. But to me, I don't kind of want to sound narcissistic, but I was never mentioned out of speech. And uh, I don't know if this is maybe not the time or the place, but I kind of want to know uh, how you felt about what happened in that round. If that makes sense. What happened in, in the round where you got voted out? Yeah. Okay. So, in the round that got voted out, or that you got voted out, pretty much what was felt was that you and Liam were working together and that you two working together was a threat and that you guys were going to target one of the people in the renegade um, alliance. So we decided to go after you and then Liam because you had a place to change the tide in the game. And I, me personally, I felt a little bit threatened by that. So I felt like it was the right move, and I went along with what the Renegade Alliance wanted to do. Okay. Thank you. Um, I think what you're, are, are, what you're talking about is you getting accused of something that you didn't say. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, not in particular. Oh. It's like we, the whole round in general, but... I'm not sure if you're aware, but... um. I, I can't remember if this is the round you went, though. I'm thinking it probably was. Austin, I, I, what was that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Austin told me that what happened when he was flooded out and that what he was doing, more or less. But I, I do still want to hear your perspectives on that, so I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah, no, that's okay. I actually don't even remember exactly what happened. I just remember um, Austin, I can't, I don't, he might have been trying to protect me. I'm not really sure who it was, but he, uh, told somebody that you said something or whatever, and then so the vote came back on you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, good luck to both of you, because the vote's a lot closer than I originally expected it to be. I, I could still see myself going either way. All right. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Now, here is where things get a little bit interesting because it seems as though none of the other jurors would like to attend the call. So with that being said, Cheatham and Kyle both left a statement slash question. Liam did not leave anything at all. Um... I don't know if he intends to. I don't know if he's awake or whatnot, but it looks like we're not going to get anything from Liam at this point, unfortunately. So moving on, I will go to Kyle's statement, I guess. <clears throat> um, and this is his words, not mine. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, this is from Kyle. Anne-Marie... I still think you rode coattails all game. No question. My vote will go to Sarah. Sarah, comma, go Packers. <clears throat> Sounds like Kyle. Now, moving on to Cheatham. Um, he asked a question that I'm assuming goes towards both of you. And that question is, what sets you two apart? from each other, game-wise. Did you get that? Yeah. Um, I think I kind of already 
answered this a little bit, but I definitely had the more like physical game and I probably played like the more I maybe made some more like flashy moves where Henry was maybe more like under the radar. So yeah, that's my that's my answer. Yeah. I was gonna say, um, I feel like Sarah played a really, really strong game, very on top, very making sure that she was in control of the moves and making sure that everything was going her way. But I stayed very, like she said, under the radar. I made sure that I was safe, but I didn't make anything that would put a target. I would, didn't do anything that would put a very dangerous target on my back. So I made sure to stay quiet and kind of like sneaking around, and make, like staying in the shadows, making sure that I didn't have a huge spotlight on myself. Okay, so with that being said, that is all we have from the jury. Now we will move on to closing speeches. Um, Anne-Marie, if you would like to start, this will be your final pitch for why you believe that you should be the winner of the season. So give it your all. Okay, I will try. I'm sorry that I haven't been... I'm not the best person at talking out loud and talking from my head because I'm not the best. But I do want to say that despite what some people may think of me, (laughs) I think I played not a very obvious game, but I think I played a very good one. One that made sure that I was safe, made sure that no one really was angry at me or upset by my actions. And I think that my ability to not have any blood on my hands, to stay silent, stay in the, no, what's what I want? What do I want to say? My ability to not be in the spotlight, my ability to kind of, wow, this is really hard to speak. I'm sorry. Um, My ability to just get here is what I can't, I can't think of something to say. I'm sorry. Um, I really, I can't, I've drawn a complete blank. I'm so sorry. I I have nothing else to say. Okay, we will move on to Sarah. Um, I just want to say that I I put my absolute all into this game. A lot of time, including over three hours holding a cup above my head. And uh, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I'm, like, really underestimated in life. And so any time I can, like, accomplish something, it's, like, a huge deal for me. And even just winning a little game like this would just be awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. And I hope to talk to all of you guys after this game. Awesome. Okay, so with that, we will end the final Tribal Council. Uh, Voting for the jurors will now open tomorrow night. We will have the vote reveal, which will be recorded. I'm assuming that will not take too long, but if you girls would like to attend, that is fine with me. Um, That'll just be me reading the votes on a call and recording it. And then all of you will be added to the VL and the reunion chat, and we'll get all the episodes and the lovely post-game extras, which I know everybody has been waiting to see. So with that being said, congratulations to both of you. You both did a great job. Um, It's been a pleasure hosting you, and good night. Thank you, Jared. Congrats, ladies. Good job.